Why do an image backup if I can factory reset? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. On the surface, this is actually a really good question because Windows now has built into it the ability to factory reset. You used to have to have your original install media, but most of the time, Windows will have been installed on your PC with another partition that essentially includes that initial copy of Windows, and you could do a factory reset, reinstalling Windows to its initial conditions pretty much anytime you want to. There are some differences between a factory reset and an image backup that actually might be worth understanding before you pull the trigger on doing either of them. Now, the one thing that is important to understand, the big difference is that a factory reset means you're setting Windows back to the day it was installed. You may or may not preserve your data. That's a choice you make when you do the factory reset, but you'll certainly need to reinstall all of your applications again. The important thing is that an image backup is a backup or a copy of everything, Windows, your installed applications, your data, that when you restore it, returns your machine to the condition it was in at that point in time. So one of the big differences is you can reinstall Windows from scratch, resetting Windows to the point it was in when you say got your machine and now you have additional work to do, or you could restore your machine to the state it was in the last time you took a backup, which ideally would be yesterday. So let's take a look at a couple of scenarios. One, hard disk failure. Let's say you're running along and your hard disk just fails. It can fail like that, that suddenly, without warning. That's one of the reasons you want your backup. Now, a restore of Windows will, in fact, reinstall Windows on potentially your replacement hard drive, but maybe not. Because the problem here is that that copy of Windows that you use for a reset your PC, it's on the hard drive that just failed. Now you do need your original installation media or you need to download Windows 10 installation media to reinstall the system. Unfortunately, you'll then need to restore your applications. You'll need to reinstall them all. And hopefully you'll have your data somewhere. Hopefully you'll have your data somewhere in a backup. An image backup makes this process dramatically easier because rather than having to go through these multiple steps of installing Windows, reinstalling your applications, finding your data somewhere, simply restoring a backup image will restore your system to a new hard drive exactly as it was before the failure at the time of the previous backup. So it's a huge, huge time saver in the case of that kind of a disaster. Let's talk a little bit about data loss. A factory reset or reset this PC will reset Windows and allow you to preserve your data if it's on the hard drive, but it won't restore your data because that's not part of a factory reset. That's not part of reset this PC. Reset this PC is about Windows and only Windows. Your data is not involved, which means just like in that hard disk failure, if for some reason you're looking to recover your data or you're looking at potential data loss, a factory reset is not going to help you. What you want is some kind of a backup and an image backup by definition is going to have all of the data on the machine that was there when you took the backup. The other scenario that actually causes more grief, I suspect, than even hard disk failures is malware. Now, we tend to think of malware as being something that affects Windows and potentially not your data. A factory reset can be one approach to dealing with malware. You're resetting Windows to its initial state. Presumably, all of the malware will have been removed. There's a catch, though. If the malware arrived in your data, for example, you downloaded a PDF that you shouldn't have, and it's now part of your data, your documents, your whatever, then resetting Windows isn't going to make that go away. And the next time you open that PDF, you're going to reinfect your system. A restore from an image backup 
again, I've said this multiple times now, will restore your system to the state it was in at the time that backup was created. That means you can choose to restore your machine to the state it was in before it was infected or before the PDF even arrived. Restoring a machine to a backup image that was taken before malware's arrival is the fastest and most reliable way to ensure the malware is really, truly gone. So the bottom line here is that, yeah, know that factory reset exists. It's a great way to reset your system. You can reset your system to a nice, freshly installed copy of Windows if that's what you're looking for. But don't use that as an alternative to backing up because a factory reset is only about Windows. It's not about your installed applications and it's not about your data. Backups are the best way to make sure you don't lose anything in the face of just about any kind of failure. I hope that's helpful. For updates, for related links, for comments and more, visit askleo.com slash 143217. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.